Welcome to MPA Infracon. MPA Infracon provides this channel only for education purpose for civil engineering students. In this session, I will talk about foundation of footing. The basic aim is just to show you the construction process. You can able to understand uh, the basics of the loading, uh, type over footing, reinforcement, uh, how to protect the ingress of water within the footing, uh, the governing factor for the footing design, soil type and how it impacts uh, footing. I have taken one example which I was involved in. Uh, you can see that the plan where well, there is a retaining goal is provided and FFL is the finished floor level which was which was 40 uh, which was 44 is a control level here. So it's about a meter down. So retaining wall uh, is 800 millimeter wide to be constructed here and footing was provided finished floor level was provided a meter down uh, the uh, the fact that uh, it was a tap of the soil and uh, and to just uh, retain the soil uh, retaining wall was provided the entrance ramp was provided to be able to get in the toilet block here and you can see the control level here for this small side uh, if I do cross section it was like a swell existing ground gone here 44 control elevation was there where is my cursor uh, because of the soil uh, we gone down and provided a footing, uh, designed the footing, uh, which is a strip and edge footing and workfell slab in between that. Retaining wall uh, was proposed cantilever just to retain the soil and you can see the arrangement of the uh, of the footing, retaining wall and it is a uh, footing uh, was constructed and supported, uh, supported the block masonry wall and roofing over it. Similar, this is a plan uh, of the wall entrance uh, retaining wall, which is in hatch. This is a building plan of the toilet block and the entrance uh, of the toilet block. Here is a, is a type of pudding. Retaining wall was 800 white and cantilever uh, pudding. Pudding uh, for building is uh, 400 400 deep uh, 300 wide age beam pudding and supported over the slab uh, uh, which is a uh, 100 millimeter 100 thick over the concrete uh, over the uh, aggregate bedding and that is is uh, the cross section which is 8 beam 300 meter wide 400 deep all the way it connects to the edge beam surrounded edge beam has been surrounded to the peripheral which support the wall and the wall in turn support the loading of the roof so all distributes uh, this is a block wall which has reinforcement into it footing has three l12 reinforcement uh, one bar at top as 82 mesh overlaps uh, 100 millimeter thick and bit of a bedding here uh, to stop the ingress of water it was uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 cover of the uh, mesh a cover of the uh, of the plastic was provided uh, just to stop the water ingress into the footing and uh, uh, this is what you can see is a footing design which is 400 deep 300 wide 100 millimeter slab supported to the sand bedding aggregate bedding compacted uh, about 75 millimeter deep so and that entire footing has taken a load of uh, uh, block masonry and and timber uh, timber roofing now second example uh, of the small site it is here which is similar to the block is been uh, constructed with the isolated footing uh, which isolated footing uh, supports the load of 
load load of the steel column and within the steel column uh, the installation of installation of a steel mesh uh, is provided so all you can see here was isolated footing in here and here and that sub uh, and and the slab which is 100 thick supports a uh, load from the steel meshing uh, and and the roof so this is how the the depth of the pudding uh, the steel column pounded about 300 down into the footing the footing was about 800 deep 350 wide slab uh, concrete slab 100 millimeter thick 75 bedding and and again 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 uh, membranes of the of the plastic was provided just to increase support the increase of water and an entire pudding is taking load of the steel column uh, which is in here here and it is supported internally uh, corrugated custom uh, corrugated steel uh, which you can see here so that is the uh, uh, this is the footing where it's called the isolated and continuous slab footing the earlier footing uh, which was taking load of uh, uh, block masonry was uh, age beam or uh, continuous footing with a age beam uh, uh, which was taking load of the block masonry so i have taken a few example on site uh, pretty much i have taken an example of construction going next door and uh, i am trying to explain the step by step as the construction moves with the example of the footing uh, the entire area is 600 square meter and the footing uh, is age beam as well as column and uh, uh, the infill is is 100 thick uh, slab supported over over sand bedding or aggregate compacted aggregate bedding so let's just go and have a look on uh, the video uh, once again thanks for watching uh, keep watching for next uh, this uh, example video as uh, as uh, uh, they have dug it out the holes and uh, and a uh, little bit of uh, a uh, little bit of uh, 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 the holding and concreting has been done as you can see here in this uh, uh, side uh, there is a proposed to be a one story unit uh, and uh, as you can see by itself that uh, 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 the construction has began and uh, the foundation has started uh, I've been told that there is a approximately uh, the gap from upstream side of the side where there is an excavator there to the downstream side of the side where there is a fence there there is a approximately 200 millimeter of gap and the footing is consist of uh, uh, age beam uh, and column footing uh, there are there are 140 column 2.4 meter has been proposed a uh, bit of a bit of a extra uh, extra on the job uh, and the age beam will connect to the footing uh, uh, 2.3 meter columns so all the way from start from the excavator position all the way uh, to the end uh, the construction has just begun as you can see that uh, uh, see that uh, the soil profile is at 2.3 meter depth is coming out to be a uh, silty uh, as well as a little bit of uh, a little loose soil uh, so in my view there wasn't much uh, much uh, much which can be achieved without uh, going to 2.3 meter depth without uh, putting a reinforcement so the age beam is about 500 by 3, 500 deep 300 wide uh, and 12 by top and bottom uh, rectangular square beam that will connect 141 column uh, uh, column which is 2.3 meter down the ground and all the way the footing will will be like that uh, obviously the footing is all about to creating and absorbing load from dead load live load and uh, uh, and the wind load 2.3 meter column down connected to the age beam it looks a bit 
extra however that's what the uh, engineering design is all about so as you can see that going to 2.3 meter depth uh, we have found uh, silty silty sand uh, not too hard enough uh, right now the concrete has been done up to the 1.4 meter depth and uh, as we go on along as with the time i will keep explaining uh, there is a meter has been installed uh, at the at the at the uh, end which i can zoom in, in. Uh, maybe you can see the meter has been installed uh, just at the at the side uh, at the end of the uh, fence uh, and and uh, 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 that will supply the electricity uh, to the house the new connection has been provided and as you can see that uh, footing uh, footing construction using a drill and excavator has started there are 141 holes and connecting edge beam edge beam shall have reinforcement top and bottom uh, however the column uh, going to 2.3 meter depth does not have uh, reinforcement when the edge beam uh, connects with each other there will be a bit of a rectangle in between that uh, that will be fill up with the aggregates 75 mil deep and sl 92 mesh connecting back to the edge beam uh, so that will be a flooring floor elevation so as the time goes on i will keep explaining so that it will be much clear so this is just a uh, beginning of the works and uh, uh, as you can see here on the road the electrical meter if i walk down uh, energy company has provided electrical connection and because of this uh, development they have put a new conduits as you can see that side has been provided with some sort of information about building server and whatnot it's been barricaded all the way around as well as the fenced as well there is a security camera has been installed at the top uh, from the owner to be able to watch the construction and as you can see here is uh, on the road the uh, electrical company uh, has has came in they dig the trench point seven meter wide about uh, 700 deep they lay the conduit uh, all the way into the street as you can see on the side uh, uh, there is a cut there and then uh, uh, after digging the road, laying the conduit, a uh, backfill has been placed and an asphalt layer has been put all the way. And then additional one meter connection has been provided from uh, from uh, uh, just uh, just uh, electrical Telstra PD was here. So probably electrical PD is provided new connection. And this is the meter as you can see here and uh, uh, pretty much that is that is it as you can see that additionally uh, you can see the stacks all the way uh, opposite side up as well the stacks has been installed just to set out the footing so that the stacks at at the both side has been installed as you can see the stacks in uh, this side as well as the opposite side uh, opposite side which is you can see now the stacks here as well so all the stacks have been so four side of the side to be able to establish the straight line for the edge beam footing so uh, I hope uh, this video will give you a little bit of uh, understanding about about uh, uh, starting of the construction for footing once again friends thanks for watching and uh, see you later so same thing I have explained uh, going through opposite side of the unit as you can see over there the uh, stacks has been placed at the beginning of the works uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, near the excavator uh, uh, rigging uh, blade as well as this side as well as opposite side so that stacks is all about to help uh, initiation of the construction for set out of the foundation and as per the design uh, engineering drawings uh, there is a 141 uh, 141 column has been dug out as you can see the uh, all, all all the holes in the ground 
which will connect to the H beam and then uh, H beam uh, shall have a reinforcement top and bottom whereas uh, 2.3 meter dugout column shall not have reinforcement that would be only just N25 concrete so that just uh, a bit uh, 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 a bit innovative uh, different design you can see the wide line of set outs has already been provided once again thanks bye now